Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. The Hasbro Marvel Legends team, specifically Dwight and Ryan, took to the uh, Instagram Live today over on Hasbro Pulse. And, and surprisingly, they showed off quite a few new, uh, give or take. There's a couple repaints here and there, but uh, largely overall, there's a, a lot of uh, great stuff on the horizon. A lot of stuff that meets my fancy being that... Uh, I'm not really into the MCU stuff anymore. Uh, there's one to talk about today, but uh, it's more in terms of what I like to see with comic books and like the classic Marvel looks or just what I think about when I think of maybe like 80s, 90s, uh, X-Men, Spider-Man, TV shows even, things of that nature. So uh, yeah, it's actually quite a few things to talk about today and i um, curious to know what you guys are all going to think about these but before we jump right in i'm going to say that uh, as always when applicable depending on when you see this video i will have links for everything down below uh, thanks for using my links they will help the channel to grow a little rhyme i threw in there so let's jump right in it so to kick it off we're going to be getting as part of the infinity ultron build a figure wave uh, Sharon Carter, as she was seen in the Disney Plus show, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, again, MCU-related. Uh, she will be available everywhere. Build-A-Figure wave, so it's not going to be exclusive anywhere. But she comes with the head of the Build-A-Figure, a couple weapons for her, a couple hands, weapons, things of that nature. So, overall, if you were a fan of the character or a fan of that show, yeah, you'll uh, definitely want to grab her. So, again, pre-order links, yada, yada, you know the drill. By now. So then moving on, uh, we're going to kind of jumble this up a little bit in terms of how they kind of revealed it. But uh, they're going to be having a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Kind of made it sound like it'll be a Hascon exclusive, maybe a later shared exclusive. But for now, if you want to go ahead and pre-order it, you'll get it off Hasbro Pulse. And this is the Mojo World box set. Right out of X-Men, right? Very cool to see that. And, uh, you know, the old Toy Biz Mojo, it's a very good figure. Well, they're doing the Hasbro version. So you're going to be getting a very uh, large box set. It's got some great packaging to it. And they're touting it as four figures. Uh, you're kind of getting a, a very large figure. You're getting two standard six-inch. And then a little Wolverine slug, which... If that's something from Mojo World now, or if they just kind of threw that in, I'm very unclear if you want to help me out. But uh, yeah, you're getting a brand new Mojo figure. He comes with extra hands, extra head portraits, and he's got the big old biomechanical chair that you would expect to see Mojo in when traversing the Mojoverse. When he's sitting there in front of all his uh, TVs, right, trying to produce new content for his crazy world. But I like the face portrait on there, the tongue sticking out. It's a little bit different from the uh, Toy Biz release, so at least at least they're doing something unique, something different with him. Probably all, uh, massive articulation, everything you'd expect from an updated Mojo. And then you're going to be getting a long shot figure, which again, Toy Biz did long shot this one, of course, now in that new articulation scheme, style, everything else. So he looks good, looks to be pretty good. This is based off the, uh, the, the renders, digital renders, of course, but uh, usually those match up pretty well when it comes to the final product. And then you're going to be getting Dazzler. I mean, uh, truth be told, I would have loved to have seen like a, a spiral, maybe a spiral release, something like that. That would have been kind of cool, maybe even a different character. Uh, it's got the same sort of powers effects that we've seen uh, with Dazzler and, and whatnot. I, I, I like the Dazzler that I have. It goes with my X-Men arcade uh, video game setup. More on that in just a few, actually. But uh, and, uh, this Wolverine, this little mini slug figure, again, if this is supposed to be a character or if they're just putting that in there, I, I really couldn't tell you. But uh, again, maybe you can help me out. If it's a character, cool. I, I, it doesn't really do anything for me. And then, uh, yeah, you see everything, all the packaging, everything included, little remotes. It's very well done. Interesting, fun, old school TV. That's the packaging. So again, if you want the new Mojo World box set, you can get it off of the Hasbro Pulse site. Manana. And then moving on there, they're still continuing on with some of the retro series, right? They're going to kind of go with the Fantastic Four, going uh, with this one with Fire Lord, which is, hey, going to go great for the Heralds of Galactus and just with your Fantastic Four collection. Never had a uh, six-inch Fire Lord. I got the old Toy Biz one, but uh, it's actually pretty cool. I like what they did here. This is definitely one that I will be grabbing, a welcomed addition to the collection. So very excited to have a Fire Lord. I like the accessories right there. That's It doesn't fire anything mechanically, you know, spring-loaded, of course. 
But uh, no, nah, uh, it'll do the trick, definitely. But uh, this one, this one has kind of been rumored, and I've been having like fingers crossed for this ever since I heard the rumor. Also talking about Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, they're going to be doing the Toei Spider-Man, the Japanese Spider-Man, the emissary from hell, right? That's Spider-Man. And I got to tell you, from the renders and kind of how they showed him in the video, he looks killer. I'm actually very excited for this one. This one is right up my alley. Uh, very excited to finally have... I missed the the, the previous Toei. Was it Mafex? Mafex one? I forget. Anyways, the, the, the import one, uh, I missed it. Uh, so uh, I'm really glad they're doing a Marvel Legends one, right? So closed box. Really like the packaging for that. Uh, comes with a couple accessories, hands and whatnot. Doesn't come with the gun, right? Maybe with that new McFarlane pack, we can uh, we can equip him correctly. But uh, like I said, you hear the excitement of a voice. Very stoked on the Japanese Spider-Man. And then continuing on with the retro packaging, we have a uh, Iron Man. The Toy Biz Iron Man, so kind of sort of Iron Man, the animated series, you would say. And uh, we're going to be getting War Machine. And from what I can tell, it looks to be mostly a repaint, maybe a couple swap out parts and pieces here and there, maybe some updated paint to better match, let's say, the animated series. And you know I like that. So depending on how I kind of maybe see him in hand, something like that. I really like the prior one that they did, maybe, what, a year and a half ago, something like that, the more deluxe War Machine but uh, this one might be a pass, might be a get. I'll, uh, I'll have to wait and see uh, when I kind of see it in hand and, and see how things go with them. And when wrapping it up, they did mention, just kind of, you know, just in passing a little bit, they say, well, if you, if you see one Iron Man the Animated Series figure, a uh, retro card figure, who's to say that the, we may see uh, a couple more here and there? Who knows? Huh? Right? We probably will. And then uh, this one is actually pretty cool. I'm actually stoked that they finally are making this figure. This will be a Target exclusive, and this is, on the retro card, this is the Amazing Spider-Man, or, hey, you can call him the Amazing Bagman, and he comes with the Kick Me sign. I don't have a lot of photos of this guy. If you want, you can go and watch the stream. You know what I mean? When you take screen grabs, there's writing all over the screen. They haven't really given us uh, promo photos just yet, but this is the best I could do at the moment, so just bear with me on this. You got extra hands. You got the bag. I'm stoked on this. This looks amazing. Again, it'll be a Target exclusive, and I'll have the links down in the description below. But out of all of them, let's say, very excited for the Toei Spider-Man. Definitely. Bagman, of course. But, uh, you know, the whole saying goes, in the 21st century. This is exactly what I thought of instantly when I saw that they're doing in the Marvel 375. So the smaller 3.75 inch uh, retro carded Marvel figures. They're going to be doing this killer looking retro sentinel and based on what they've showed he looks to be around the six maybe six and a half inch mark i don't think quite seven inch but when you equate that to the x-men arcade game and you have all the sentinels and all the different colors which i wouldn't mind that's awesome to me and like i said with my uh, x-men arcade shelf these are great. All they're missing is a rock. But yeah, I can go outside and find a rock. Whatever. Look at the packaging on that. It's oversized carded packaging. He comes with two extra heads. You got the battle damage. You've got the big old uh, tendril that comes out. It's got a loop. You can put one of the figures in it. That's actually really cool. Or if you wanted to go this route with HasLab and you bought the Sentinel and how you display them like I do with Master Mold, these are all little Sentinels that come out of them, right? So there's a, a lot of a lot of bonus here in terms of not only just being Marvel 375, you can equate them with the 6-inch arcade. You can go as far as having to be a little mini Sentinels from Master Mold. So a lot of fun to be had here. Definitely stoked on this guy. That one, that one, Toei, Spider-Man, Fire Lord. Lots of great reveals today, to be quite honest with you. And to always leave you with a, a, a tease and whatnot, uh, they're showing off a hand holding a, a key card, a card playing card perhaps it's gambit who knows let the speculations run wild below but that's gonna wrap it up for my look at all the new marvel legend figures that were shown off today and thanks again to dwight and ryan for taking us through all the new products very cool very excited for a lot of these myself and like i said if you need any of the pre-order links when applicable they will be down in the description below so I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, and you know, like I said, if you wanted to do, uh, you know, more multicolored Sentinels, go to town with the X-Men arcade game. I don't care. That's, that's amazing. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.